Mijitan uh, Bird Barrier. We're here uh, with a special guest today from with our pro lab, uh, John Kotze from South Africa, the co-designer of the Eagle Eye. Um, and I'll, I'll start this off by talking um, uh, talking about your father. Yes. So about about 15 years ago, approximately, when he first came here with the Eagle Eye, I was here, mm -hmm. and I remember meeting with him in uh, in Cameron's office. And he was explaining how this works, you know, how you need more than one and all this. And I was just nodding my head going, <laughs> yes, okay, I get it, I get it. But inside, I was a little bit lost. Mm. And I know some of our viewers get a little bit lost about where do these go? How do we place these? What structures do these go mm. on? Mm. So that's kind of what I want to talk about a little mm. bit today. Like, like for me personally, when I'm looking at a, when a customer comes to me with their, with their photos of a structure, it could be a singular structure, it could be a big warehouse, or it could be a property with multiple structures. But one of the pre prerequisites I'm looking for as a, as a pre-qualifier is what's going on around the outside of that building. Yeah. Where are the neighbor buildings, yes. if there's any? Yeah. Uh, what's happening? Because if, if you do have buildings that are very close, I'm ruling the eagle eye out mm. immediately. It's one of the things. Buildings with lots of windows. Buildings with lots of windows, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. we know mm. we're going to get that phone call. Yeah. Hey, this is bothering me, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, eagle eyes, you can see eagle eyes from approximately a mile away. Yes, you can. And, the, and, they're, and they're very strong. So mm. uh, for me, personally, uh, I just, I'm always looking for areas to use eagle eye. Um, I think one of the things that people overlook when um, product selection is involved as far as their strategy to deter birds is the airspace. Mm. The airspace has been overlooked, right? Mm. So we have mm. our ledge products mm. that we use when it's not sunny, right? And these are gonna work well with Eagle Eye uh, uh, on, on particular structures. Go ahead, let us know what, what do you look for when you're when you're thinking about eagle eye placement? Mm. First of all, as you said, number one thing is to look at exclusion factors. Mm. Why, why the eagle eye system will not be your best solution here? Because right. we find that your best way of selling the system is honesty. So the client must know that you will be honest with him and not just try and sell him the system and taking the money and running with him. Right. You want the client to come back to you because they got the results. Right. So, if we look at a, a, a building like that and we see, look, it's going to irritate the neighbors. There are right. massive amounts of open food sources and water or the client is not doing good housekeeping. So it's ideal for the bird. Right. Then we tell the client, listen, this is not going to work for you. We're stepping away from this one and we recommend recommending something else. So once we sort of um, get or of once we are confident that the right. eagle eye system will work there's sufficient sunlight uh, mm. nice open areas it's n low to medium pressure then we go ahead with the placements of the units yeah mm. that's good I mean I'm glad you talked about the sunlight because there's a lot of times we get structures that qualify that you think hey this will be great mm. this will be a great spot but mm. I'm sorry Portland Oregon fans <laughs> and Seattle Washington fans you don't get a lot of sunlight, so a lot of times I'm going to rule that out. Mm. Wise move? That is a wise move. You can always add spotlights to the system, but then yeah. you have to weigh up if it's worth the, the extra money of adding the spotlights mm. to the units. Right. Uh, if you add a spotlight, you get reduced range, but right. still you have more range than you would in an overcast day. So that's always an option. Uh, if you don't really have anything else to do that you know right. will work well, then that will definitely be an option. Right, yeah, so spotlights. I remember when they first came out, we mm. were using them on the inside of warehouses mm. with the mm. spotlights. Okay. You know, yeah. but, but in a pigeon setting, most of the time, the pigeons are all tucked away at yes. night. Yes. So it's yes. not no. really the best no. setting, no. right? Once again, once the birds are nesting or roosting, yeah then the system is not the way to go. And once right. they're inside the building, that's exactly what they're doing. They are either building a nest or they're actively nesting or roosting. So eagle eyes with the light in top of a building is not a good idea. Yeah. You can install an eagle eye uh, above a doorway, perhaps, with yes. the LED light on there. 
Just make sure that you have an eagle eye on top of the building in as much as possible natural sunlight as well to right. assist the one with the LED light. Right, and anybody out there that's received eagle eye quotes from me in the past, most of the time, I'd say nine out of 10 times, these are coming from John Kotze, who's mm -hmm. doing the eagle eye placement diagram that we all love. Mm, it's that's amazing what technology does these yeah. days. I can sit back in South Africa and I can take a look with a 3D view, do my measurements and give you yeah. the placements. That's I, I have one question. Um, on a large roof, let's say a roof that's maybe 200 feet wide by 300 feet long, okay. and we have maybe geese mm. or seagulls or gulls, right? And they, and they are nesting in the, in the center of a roof. Let's say this is a brand new building. It's brand new. As, as a uh, preventative maintenance, we can put eagle eyes down the center and in the interior of that roof to protect that roof, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely, Absolutely. yeah. I said, yeah. have your eagle eyes still on the highest points and on the corners, mm -hmm. but if it's a large roof, you don't necessarily only do eagle eyes on the perimeter. Right. Because birds, when it's such a big roof, birds can fly in high over the eagle eye system and helicopter and not really down. seeing it, yes, and then they can go down, mm -hmm. missing all of the flashes. Mm -hmm. So when it's a really large roof, you will have more rows of units to cover it. Right, right, yeah, and we've done that in the past with geese and gulls, and it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. We find that, you know, if you have a structure that has nesting birds on that roof, and you trap them, or mm -hmm. you remove them, and secure all those nesting areas, and then install eagle eyes, mm -hmm. what the eagle eyes will do is they're going to turn away any new guy. Exactly. It's the best first line of defense for any large structure that qualifies that I've ever seen. Uh, as long as we have sun and as long as the surroundings uh, um, are, are good. Mm. You know? Exactly. By, by removing yeah. resident birds, all you're doing is you're creating a vacuum. So it will only mm -hmm. take time for new birds to come in and see right. the e area and settle down. So the eagle eye system is just to keep new birds out of that vacuum you've created. Right, and that, and that goes to bird behavior because we know the nesting bird, that mommy bird, is going to fight anything that we put up there. Yeah. She's not going to be stopped uh, by an eagle eye. The only thing yeah. that's going to stop her is going to be a net. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. um, uh, we know this in advance. So we're not, we're not putting eagle eyes. Eagle eyes are really designed to stop the cycle. Yes. of new birds from Absolutely. coming in. You have that new guy that just jumped out of that tree line mm. an eighth of a mile away, and he's coming over to the structure because it's the largest structure in the area, and, and yeah. it's like a bird magnet. They're coming over. The new guy that has no history there, yeah. has no commitment level to that structure, is going to get hit by the eagle eye during the daylight. If it's sunny, mm. it's got to be sunny and is gonna turn away and turn the other direction, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Even when you install a complete system, eagle eyes on the perimeter, yeah. you close down the nesting areas and the roosting areas, mm -hmm. you will even then see the birds hanging around there for, it can be up to two to three more weeks mm -hmm. because they're trying to get back in because they're right. generational birds. They've grown up there. They want to be in that spot. Right. But eventually they will give up and then they will relocate because it's not fun for them there anymore. Right. Was, that goes to uh, what do we do with the, with the resident birds? Now, if you can do a trapping program, let's mm. say we're dealing with pigeons and we can trap them, we always encourage that. Mm. If you get rid of the resident birds, that is half of the battle. Mm. That is half of the battle won yeah. because now we're only dealing with the new bird yeah. who has zero commitment level there and is not maternal to that spot yet. Yes. The, that's actually the most easily deterred bird. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's also so good. Yeah. That, well, it's so good idea to install your eagle eyes um, on new buildings as well as a preventative measure. Yes then you're not struggling with those high pressure generational stubborn birds. Yes. Just to keep the new ones out. I heard you talk a little bit about the north side of the structure with Matt earlier. Um, mm -hmm. I want to cover that. On the property, if we can find something high to attach to, sometimes we've done this, parking mm -hmm. lot lights. Okay, yeah. And if they're at the right height, we're mm -hmm. going to put eagle eyes on the parking lot lights Perfect. that are directly on the north side of the structure. If it, if it works out that way, and that will give you that coverage on the north side. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah. So then you have eagle eye units on the building mm -hmm. and on the northern side of the building. So you, can, you almost have this dome 
of right. flashes. So when the bird is flying next to the building on the north, it, the, the, the flashes from the eagle eyes on the light post will hit their eyes it's and they will avoid the area. Cover that, it's yeah. going to cover that space. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun for you guys uh, uh, that are new to eagle eye. When you put these up and you watch birds that are approaching, <laughs> They hit that protected airspace and do a 90 degree turn yeah. and just get out as quickly as possible. Yeah, they do. It's they do get frightened fun. easily. <laughs> um, well, I think I just, that's, that's all I really wanted to cover today, a little bit about the effectiveness of Eagle Eye, what to look for on structures when you're trying to figure out if this is the right product or as your first line of defense. I hope this helps. My name is Tony Giton. I'm with Bird Barrier, and this is ProLab, and we're here with John Kotze uh, from South Africa, the co-inventor of the Eagle Eye, and we're just happy that you're here, John. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you.